John chapter 8, verse number 23. Now, see one day. What is it? Who 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 is it?
Okay. began by letting us understand that he thanked the Most High God for sending such a great power into this nation to turn the nation into God worshiping nation. He said, as he keeps saying all the time, God's true religion is not in the nation Ghana. He said, if he says this, the Islamic religious people in Ghana don't want to buy this the same way the Christians do in the nation don't want to understand this. But he said, that is how it is. That God's true religion is not in the nation Ghana. But he explained again that the nation Ghana is God's own appointed nation. And that because we lack the knowledge of God, we do not understand it. He said the Israelites who have the knowledge of God today, today, as they are there, when they go to pray, they keep praying that the most high God should allow them to meet the Elijah who will come in the end of days. He said this is the prayer of the Israelites today as he speaks. He said this is because it is fell out in Malachi that if the Elijah did not come, God would, God wrath would burn the entire world. His Holiness, Yamis Mahfa said the, the Israelites have this knowledge. So always they seek to meet the Elijah before their time on earth elapsed. His Holiness Yamis Mahfa explained and said that yes, all is due to the fact that we don't have the knowledge of God. It is by this that he, the host who is another degree makers go on break and we came back. Then His Holiness Yamis Mahfa again continued with the teaching. He said to us that as he's saying, if only we understand the messenger of God, we would truly understand the work that he has brought. The host, Nana Degi, then gave his testimony about the encounter he had with His Holiness Yamis Mahfa and what he has received. He narrated what happened at home. His Holiness Yamis Mahfa said that this is called fit. So what has happened to him is a true fit. He said it is a perfect fit. His Holiness Yamis Mahfa said, that one man called from the United States of America and after narrating his story and his problem to him, the day after the man called him and said that the messenger of God, I think your people who are following you do not know you better because of the results he has had. His Holiness Yami Sumafra said, he said that the most high God have said it severally and have also um, um, said it emphatically that even if one is an idol worshipper who has the idols, whom all the time pours libation, call upon his idols, and then he pours libation to them, his holiness, and Miss Mother said, if one time this idol worshipper should get up and say that he believed with a perfect faith that the messenger of God, who is his holiness, and Miss Mother, is the true messenger of God, he said, as soon as this idol worshiper confesses this and he has confessed it with with faith and in his heart his holiness and his mother said most of god said that if he should die right after confessing this or a day after confessing this he would grant him salvation on the day of judgment his holiness and his mother said that is that even if one should believe that god is one and for that reason, never visit anybody, never visit any spiritualist, but do not believe that he, His Holiness, and Miss Mother is the true messenger of God, and that he is staying just like that, His Holiness, and Miss Mother, that God said he will not accept him on the day of judgment. Then he asked rhetorically, that have we seen God with our naked eyes? Have we seen God before? His Holiness, and Miss Mother said, since we do not see God, and then we said we believe in him. We said that is what he's talking about. That if you don't believe in him as a messenger of God, that alone, he said, you have a problem. His holiness, and Miss Mother said, for him being the true messenger, being with us on earth at this time, and the work that he's doing alone should even help us to understand that yes, he is a true messenger of God on earth. He said he is laying hand on the sick and they are gaining their healing. He said this alone. Should even give us the understanding that yes, 
he is a messenger of God. But because we like that knowledge, we like that understanding, we listen to him, we hear him, but we do not get the comprehension that he is, he is a messenger of God. It's only Messi and Miss Mafra said that if you believe that God is one and yet you do not believe in him as a true messenger of God on earth, he said all that you do will be in vain on the day of judgment. But as the Most High God have said, if one believe in him as a true messenger of God on earth in this end of days, and have confessed it in faith, with a perfect faith, if he should die after confessing this, he will grant him salvation on the day of judgment. His Holiness and Miss Mafra said, what happened to the host and what he has given testimony about is all due to the fact that he has exercised a little higher faith in him. He said, it is this that you will gain whatever he has brought onto the earth.